Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my garage again here for a laser impressions video. This is the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. This is a fully enclosed diode later laser. I have the 22 watt version. Uh, Creality does offer a 40 watt version that also comes with a smaller 1.6 watt, I believe, for engraving, as the 40 watt is too powerful to do clean engraves. But this is enclosed with an acrylic top, a garage door style here. We do have a lid open detection on here. We have an emergency stop. Obviously, we have the key here if you want to, you know, lock this, hide the key somewhere so people can't use this or children or something like that can't be playing or messing around with it. This does come with air assist, which is great, and a very nice um, exhaust duct here. If I didn't have my BMW project car here, I would have actually had the exhaust ran out my um, garage window there, which is a really big bonus to this having an enclosure getting the fumes out i still do recommend wearing eye protection with any type of laser i don't know what wavelengths this acrylic tinted acrylic will uh block so definitely buy yourself a good quality set of laser glasses um your eyesight's very important and you don't want to mess around with this machine and uh potentially damage your eyes we can see here the laser module has some nice LED indicators. If the lens is dirty, if there, there is fire detection on this, so if there's a fire, and then air assist. Air assist is blinking right now because the laser is not actually moving. The work area for this laser is 400 millimeters by 415 millimeters. It's a quite nice, generous size and you can see um, everything's ran very nice. It's very easy to assemble this out of the box. Essentially, you're taking these metal brackets, bolting them together, and then bolting them on top of the laser. We also have a waste drawer, which is really cool. You can see here my cut for my back panel of my printer. So really nice waste drawer. And one of my favorite features actually, this laser has adjustable slats here for your kind of um, elevated workspace so you can do cutting and stuff like that. Very, very nice. Really easy to configure the slats however you would like, which is, I when I seen this, I thought this is a really cool feature of having those slats being configurable. I have a Sculpt Fun S30 over there and it just has like this big, huge honeycomb bottom. And I much prefer these uh, slats here because it is configurable and they are attached to the actual laser. So that's really neat. One thing also too that um, I find quite nice is being this is enclosed, when I was cutting this piece, I didn't have to worry about clamping the piece down because it wasn't flying around or anything like that. It just cut perfectly. Whereas my Sculpt Fun S30, my acrylic moved while I was cutting. So I had to clamp it down, which, um, is a little bit annoying. We have some nice to use buttons here like homing. This laser does have end stops, so it does have a true homing procedure. I, of course, am using light burn with this laser. Um, you, you have to purchase light burn separately, but it is kind of like the piece of software that you wanna use for actually um, working with lasers. This does have a webcam in the center facing down, which is very, very important um, for lining up your work, getting the most of your actual material. If I wanted to now, I could actually cut, you know, some, some stuff out of these spots here and completely use up the actual stock that I have on hand. So that's really, really nice. The laser does use um, USB-C, so you have a USB-C going into your camera and then you have USB-C going into the actual laser, laser itself and those are just plugged into my laptop here. So this uh, laser retails for around $1,800 Canadian. I think it's a little bit too expensive in my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think on price. 
I think this is starting to approach CO2 laser territory. I know there's pros and cons to both. Um, diode lasers cannot cut clear acrylic. So I'm using this to cut panels for my 3D printer and I'm okay with black acrylic or like some colored acrylic, but you cannot cut clear acrylic on a diode laser. So that's where a CO2 laser would come into, but I know CO2 lasers are more maintenance. You have to cool the laser and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know, in my opinion, I think it's just maybe a little bit too expensive, but that's up to you guys to decide. I think it is a very nice, well-built machine. The frame is very robust. I was very impressed when I unboxed this and actually the box was much heavier than I thought it was going to be, um, which kind of just shows the quality. And on my first cuts and engravings, this thing has worked really well. I am gonna show you a video here of me cutting out my panel. So I'll just do a quick uh, sped up video of me cutting that so you can see. And then um, I'll kinda end the impressions video afterwards. All right, I've got the Falcon 2 Pro here all set up, ready to cut a back panel for my RC150 3D printer. We have a three millimeter sheet of black acrylic. I do apologize for the fan noise here. I'm gonna just actually turn this off, make it a little bit easier to talk here. So I have a sheet of black acrylic, three millimeters, that I'm gonna be cutting my back panel out of. What's really awesome about the Falcon 2 Pro is the uh, camera that's on the top of the laser. So we can actually do an overlay. I apologize on <laughs> being in my garage, but you can see how it overlays over top of the workpiece so that you can get your cut just perfect. I have calibrated the camera on this, so we're gonna see how good of a job that does. We slide down our garage door there to fully seal it from fumes. We can see here it actually has detection if the top is open or not, which is pretty much, uh, I hope, the standard going forward on a lot of lasers um, but I'll turn my fume extractor back on here and I'm going to go ahead and set my camera up on the tripod and try to get a recording for all of you. All right, here's the finished cut. And as you can see, it did a perfect job. Back in here. So, little tiny M3 holes were just stuck there, but excellent job. Cut through this acrylic, no problem. All right. So we've seen the laser cut. That was three millimeter black acrylic. Cut that perfectly. I did five passes at 1260 millimeters per minute. You can check out my settings in there. So uh, 1250 millimeters per minute and 100% power. And I was using air. And um, here's the kind of camera calibration that I did. I just wanted to show all of you the engraving quality this was a recommended settings on the USB stick and the engraving is very, very sharp and clean. I'm actually very impressed with just, I've never actually engraved anything, even on my Sculpt Fun laser. I've never engraved, I've only cut. So that looks really, really nice. I'm very happy with that. So this is a great machine. The 20 watt version, or I should say 22 watt version is really great, kind of all around. But if you want the 40 watt, like I say, you will get the additional 1.6 watt 
to do engravings just because the 40 watt, the actual laser tip is very, very fat or fatter than normal. So it doesn't give high detailed engravings and that's why you want that additional 1.6, which is included if you get the 40 watt model. So that's kind of it for my impressions video. Very happy with this. I think it's, um, it's nice to see lasers actually coming out with enclosures. I'm hoping that they can bring the price down. Um, but like I say, you tell me what you guys think of the price on this $1,800 Canadian. You know, maybe there'll be some discounts and things like that coming out in the future. But as far as I see it, this laser is actually relatively safe. Um, and I really like having this in my arsenal now so I can vent fumes out if I get it set up by my window and that type of thing. So thanks again, everyone, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.